This might be our greatest victory of all time. I'm dead serious. I'm including all the Super Bowls. Every game the Chiefs have ever had. This one is different. We beat the 49ers, spanked their ass. Beat the Eagles, spanked their ass, sent them home. Fucking spanked the Bengals' ass, sent them home. I've lost track of how many times we spanked the fucking Bills, sent their worthless ass home. Um, the Chiefs are inevitable. They really are. But this year was special. This might be my favorite year of the Chiefs because we had a shitty season by our standards. All anybody talked about was how much we sucked. How we didn't look right. How our receivers kept dropping balls. How we couldn't do jack shit. And on the flip side, you got the Ravens. Complete opposite story. Complete opposite narrative. The Ravens are unstoppable. The Ravens are a monster. The Ravens are God in the NFL. Nobody's stopping them. They're going straight to the Super Bowl. They're killing it. And they're getting their, what would it be, third ring, I believe, if they actually made it to the Super Bowl and won. Um, that was the narrative. Now... Let's take a step back into reality and look at what actually happened. What actually happened was what I described in a video earlier. The riddle of Chief's Kingdom. Everybody's going to think I'm an idiot. Everybody's going to think I'm stupid. And that's fine. I don't really care what other people think. Doesn't phase me. Opinions, people, I look at people, how could I describe this? I look at people like ghosts. Yeah, they're like ghosts. And you know, some ghosts say things that I'll take to heart, but the majority of them, they're just ghosts. Like, all I can do is shrug. Uh, they're just there. And... That's a good description of the sports media. The Chiefs do what they do. Um, I'm not surprised anymore. I don't get nervous in these big games. I don't. Um, we have a guy who I trust. He's sort of like, I don't know if you want to use like a video game reference. I play a lot of video games. We'll use a video game reference. You know, I'd relate Patrick Mahomes to like Master Chief, Samus, Aran, um, people like that. He's different. He's not human. Not in a traditional sense. And we're going up against the 49ers team now. Uh, one that we've already defeated. Uh, kind of the same team that we're facing. Different quarterback. 
Brock Purdy is interesting. This is going to be a very interesting game. I'm actually really excited to watch it. I'm not nervous. I'm excited. Uh, because Jimmy Garfloppolo, he, he, he wasn't the guy. Um, and he proved it in the final quarter of that game. Brock Purdy is different. He's different. He's I I I would I don't think anybody knows how to describe Brock Purdy. He's he's just like he's an anomaly. You can't say he's good, you can't say he's great, you can't say he's bad. He's Nobody knows what he is yet. He he has this weird thing going on where he could either be the next Tom Brady or he could be a journeyman. It, nobody knows. We'll find out in a couple weeks. Come Super Bowl time. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but yeah. This goes back to um, the last video I made about uh, the riddle of Chief's Kingdom. It's a real thing. What is the riddle of Chief's Kingdom? I told you.